Okay, uh, I'm publisher Greg Rickabaugh with the Jail Report, and uh, we've got news about Augusta District Attorney Jared Williams being sued by Little Caesar's beating victim Emily Broadwater and her attorney Joe Neal. Um, and uh, the suit claims Mr. Williams violated the Georgia Open Records Law by not releasing a past file on assault suspect Brittany Kennedy. Uh, now, again, I'm publisher Greg Rickabaugh, and I've got information on the latest chapter in this drama that garnered national attention when the beating video went viral. If you don't remember the video from May 17th, here's a look at it again, and then we'll talk about the lawsuit and Joe Neal's upcoming appearance on the radio. All right, so there is your video that made national attention. I uh, really went worldwide. There were uh, outlets in uh, in Europe that uh, covered that case as well. But let's take a look at this lawsuit and tell you what it says. He, again, here's Bre Emily Broadwater is the plaintiff. She is the victim you're seeing here on a previous appearance on Law Talk on WEAC with her attorney Joe Neal. And uh, they're suing Jared Williams, shown here, um, uh, for the records, the previous records uh, against Brittany Kennedy, who was uh, shown here assaulting uh, Emily. Uh, so let's see what the lawsuit says. Um, what the lawsuit spells out here is that the, uh, the plaintiff, again, Emily Broadwater, was, um, had become aware that Kennedy is on felony probation for obstruction of an officer committed in 2018 in which Kennedy violently assaulted and battered three to four sheriff's deputies in the midst of a criminal investigation over a stolen motor vehicle Kennedy was riding in that also contained a stolen firearm. So a big history there. Um, Kennedy pled guilty to and was sentenced as a first offender in December 18th and her case was officially closed 30 days later when she failed to appeal her conviction. Now the plaintiff Plaintiff again, every time we say plaintiff, it's Emily Broadwater, the victim in the Little Caesars case. The plaintiff was issued a subpoena to testify at Kennedy's revocation hearing on July 15, 2021. Now that, uh, of course, came after the Little Caesars assault. So based on the new, the new criminal charges, they wanted to revoke her probation. However, instead of calling Emily to testify against Kennedy and asking the court to revoke Kennedy's first offender status and adjudicate her guilty, um, for her violent uh, felony obstruction charge and resentence her to a term of imprisonment of up to five years on the said charge. The defendant agreed, the defendant being District Attorney Jared Williams, agreed to continue the case over plaintiff's objection expressed in open court so that Kennedy, uh, d the District Attorney said, so that Kennedy could get a mental evaluation in spite of the fact that uh, Emily Broadwater had driven over an hour to the courthouse to testify against Kennedy and patiently waited for her counsel for over two hours in the gallery to do so. So um, on July 15th, immediately after the, the uh, continued revocation hearing, um, Joe Neal uh, and Emily Broadwater served a written open records request through the state of Georgia um, in this case for a complete copy of Kennedy's 2018 felony obstruction of an officer file to be comply, complied with in three business days or no later than July 19, 2021. So what this case uh, says is that the district attorney did not turn it over. And you'll see that in here uh, after many delays and finally on July 29th, uh, 29th after two weeks of defendants knowing and deliberate non-compliance uh, the plaintiff's underside counsel attempted one last time to get Jared Williams to comply with the law and produce the file with no response. And so if you'll look at the end here, we'll just get to the bottom line here. But um, wherefore, what they're asking, Joe Neal's asking on, on, on behalf of his client, um, Emily Broadwater, is that they ask, they're ask they asking the court um, to answer this complaint and, and, um, and order Jared Williams to turn this over. It says they want a public hearing and uh, they're asking for a complete copy of Brittany Kennedy's 2018 felony obstruction of an officer file in their possession, custody, or, uh, or control of the defendant, and that the court award plaintiff reasonable attorney's fees and expenses of litigation uh, under the law for withholding the file 
without substantial justification and that the court assess civil and or criminal penalties against the defendant, Jerry Williams, which are expressly provided for under the law in its discretion. So it appears just from the filing on this, and I'm not a, a, a complete uh, legal expert, but I mean, it does have Ashley's Wright's name on it. So I'm, say, I'm, I'm believing that Ashley Wright would be the judge in this case. As you know, she is a former district attorney in Augusta. So uh, that would be an interesting case for her to ha uh, file. Uh, to, to, to hear. Now, this is the second lawsuit Neil has filed on behalf of Broadwater. On June 3rd, the victim filed suit um, against the pizza company, uh, Ann Kennedy. That suit says Little Caesars failed to protect Broadwater against Kennedy, who had no business at the restaurant. Now, if you remember, Broadwater took her two-year-old daughter to Little Caesars Pizza dressed in a pink bow on Riceboro Road to get her a pizza to eat. She was told her pizza would be ready in 10 minutes and was invited to sit down in the lobby. Now, Kennedy did he... Uh, Brittany Kennedy entered for no legitimate purpose, according to that suit, verbally threatened Broadwater and grabbed her by the hair. She then pulled Broadwater out of her chair before violently throwing her onto the floor. You saw that in the video. The suit accuses two employees of watching the attack and doing nothing. Now listen, on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. August 1st, attorney Joe Neal will appear on Law Talk on WGAC Radio. That's this show right here where he appeared before. And he's going to talk about this new case against the district attorney and tell you why he's doing it. Um, and just in case that show isn't interesting enough, they have Richmond County Chief Deputy Pat Clayton that is set to appear for most of that show and take uh, questions from listeners. That's my understanding. Now, the show can be heard at 5.80 a.m., 95.1 FM, or just by logging on to WGAC.com and listening to it online. The call-in number is 706 I'm sorry, 706-863-5800 is the number. You can get, actually the show gives free legal advice each week to uh, listeners who call in. So that's your news on the new lawsuit uh, against Jared Williams. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he responds. We have sent him an email seeking any kind of response uh, from him, and uh, we'll let you know if he does answer that lawsuit. But for now, that's uh, that's the report we've got for you today. And, um, uh, and and just to let you know, actually, we did receive a reply from Jerry Williams. No, sir, but thank you for the courtesy of asking for a response. So so uh, the district attorney has responded, said he, he uh, will not have a response to that lawsuit. Um, but anyway, there you go. That's the news for today.